Hey folks, hey, what's going on? Hey, this is Wesley, million dollar virgin here. Excuse me, I'm listening to my personal development here. I'm always expanding and learning and I'm expanding my knowledge here. I, I want you to listen close to me, okay? Just recently, um, I just closed an amazing deal this month for about $3 million. Three million dollars. Um, we just closed a deal on one of my outside companies, and I want you to listen close, okay? Because these words are going to be very powerful, and I want you to pay close attention. The feeling brings the blessing, okay? Give me one second here, because I really want you to hear this. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Houston, Texas. I'm blessed. Uh, I'm thankful. But the feelings brings the blessings. And also the feelings brings the money. Okay. And you may say, well, what, what do you mean? Um, and unfortunately, we haven't been taught this you know, when we were young. But how you feel, how you feel from day to day, moment to moment, is going to determine what's going to be attracted in your life. Okay? The feeling. And I know you probably heard something like this before in one of my past videos, but just like a minister at a church, I have to be repetitive. Because just because you hear it one time, it may not resonate. But what I'm telling you is, the feeling, how you feel today, even how you feel right now, when you're watching this video, it's attracting the things, the people, the experiences, the moments, the opportunities in your life. And I know that we've all been trained that we have to focus on how and what to do to ensure that we're able to create our destiny. But I'm telling you, the feeling is going to bring, bring the blessings. You may say, well, Wesley, what type of feeling? Good feelings. Well, you may say, well, Wesley, you know, it's hard to feel good when I'm losing something in life. When I lost my job or when I thought an opportunity was going to work out or when someone leaves me. How do I, how do I keep that feeling of feeling good? You know, when everything's falling around me, when challenges arise, how do you do it? Well, let's, let, me, let, me, let's, let me bring you back for a second. Let me explain to you how right now most of you that's watching me, why you repeatedly have these habitual patterns of pain, okay? And I'm going to give you a good example. You know, some of us, when we get up in the morning, you ever notice that when you get up in the morning, sometimes you don't feel like getting up? You don't feel like going to work. You get up, you hit the snooze. You hit the snooze again. Right? You hear the kids crying or you hear the kids, they want breakfast. And you know you have to get up because it's 15 minutes past the time that you should have left the house. And you get up in a bad mood. And then the next day, the same thing happens again. You hit the snooze again. You hit the snooze again. You don't want to get up. You're thinking about what you got to do. You don't want to do it. You're tossing and turning in the bed just five more minutes. Then you drag yourself out of bed. You roll out of bed. Go to the bathroom. Wash yourself up. And the next day, you do the same thing again. Now, I'm explaining to you how this process works. And what you're doing is you're training your body right now. Let me see if I can explain that. You're training your body to be sluggish. You're training your body to have no power. You're training your body to hit the snooze. You're training your body to not want to go to work. You're training your body to feel bad about that situation, about what you have to do. You're training yourself. Only... Because you're doing the same thing and having the same feelings every single day.
Does that make sense? Guys, that makes sense. Hit the like button. Understand this. You have many people in the world right now, when they get up, they're excited. And you think, why and how? Then when you try to do it, when you try to jump out and be excited, you know, jump out of bed and <laughs> say motivated, dedicated, you can't seem to do it. Only because you have trained your body to do something. And you're trying to use willpower. You're trying to use your willpower, your mind to force yourself to do something different. And some of you have trained your body as it relates to how you feel for a very long time. And this is the reason why that it's hard for you to pull yourself out of that feeling of feeling pain, hurt, disgust, irritation, aggravation, only because you trained your body. When I say trained your body, your body right now is doing things subconsciously. Does that make sense? Like right now, I'm driving to the gym and I'm doing a video at the same time. See, my subconscious mind is driving my vehicle. Why? Because I've done this for years. I've took the same route for years, the same pattern for years. So my mind has already conditioned my body, which means I can talk to you on video and my body, my subconscious mind can drive my car. And what I'm telling you right now, that the feeling that you feel most, whatever it may be, is a habitual pattern and you've created it. The feelings, the good feelings, the joyful feelings, the gratitude feelings, the feelings of love, the feelings of hope, this is what helped you or this will assist you to become the person that you're supposed to be. You have to train yourself. I'm not saying that some days you're not gonna have moments where you're gonna feel that you, you screw it up. You know, you're gonna have a bad feeling, you're gonna be doing something and you're gonna get that roadblock. That's all a part of the process. When you're training, see, check this out. If I wanted to take a different route to the gym, it's going to be very difficult for me to concentrate on this video. Because now I got to think about the turns. I got to think about the new route. I got to think about the new street. There are different hazards because I'm taking a new route. That means most of my attention is going to be driving and not the video. Right now, all of you are trying to train yourself and train your body to have this feel good feeling all the time or at least 90% of your day 90% of your day and to do that you have to be conscious aware conscious aware I mean you have to know and recognize you know what right now I'm not feeling too well right now something just happened in my life and I don't feel too good about it what can I do about it how should I think about this issue what can I do to make this thing put me in a better mindset? That's called being consciously aware. But I want you, I want this to stick in the back of your mind. That the feelings, the good feelings, those are the feelings that get you the blessings. Those are the feelings that get you the money. Those are the feelings that get you the functional positive relationships those are the feelings that get you the opportunities when you're able to have a feeling of prosperity when everything is crashing around you you made it you made it you know I just closed you know what look I tell you this three weeks ago Right now, I'm losing about a $90,000 $90, in one of my stocks. $90,000. I didn't get upset. I was happy about that. I was grateful. Because I'm conscious aware. As soon as that thing happened, I had a decision to make. And I said, you know what? I could look at this and say, oh, I'm losing money. What is going on? I thought the stock was going to work. Oh, my God. I need to talk to my stock. You know what I did? And this is what makes me different than most people in the world, almost 97% of people in the world. And I say, you know what? I'm grateful 
then I'm down $90,000 because what that means is it's opened up a door for me to make $200,000. It just opened up a door for me to learn a lesson for me to exponentially increase my income. And now this month, I just closed the deal that's paying me out $3 million. $3 million. Look, I'm $90,000 down on another deal. But since I looked at that in a way that empowered me, it blessed me. It made me smarter. It made me more intelligent. It made me think about my situation differently than most people do. And now, since I stayed in that mind frame, since I stayed in that mind of positivity, since I said, you know what, let's keep going, let's keep going down this road, I closed a $3 million deal, cash. The blessings are the feelings. They're, they will attract the blessings, the feelings. The feelings is gonna attract the money in your life. But you have to start today to start creating those feelings. Feelings, those feel good feelings. You know those feelings when you get those goosebumps. You know when you laugh so hard your stomach hurts. You need those type of feelings. Because not only <laughs> do you attract money, prosperity, you attract health. It's powerful. Whew, guys, I gotta go work out. I love you so much. I wanted to jump on here because I wanted to talk about how your feelings today is going to attract the blessings, the wealth, the happiness in your life. But you must manage those feelings. You must be consciously aware when you when you feel or when you see or when something happens that is totally against of those things that you want. You must be able to dig down deep inside you and be able to say, you know what? Yeah, the situation is not so it's not so great. But this situation is going to help me. This challenge is going to build me up. It's going to empower me. The feelings. Say it with me, guys. The feelings are in the blessings. Say it with me, guys. The good feelings are in the blessings. The good feelings are in the blessings. The good feelings are in the blessings. It's going to attract the blessings. The good feelings will attract the blessings, the wealth, the money, the good feelings. Say it with me, guys. The good feelings. The good feelings. Like right now, I feel good for no damn reason. The good feelings is going to bring your blessings. The good feelings is going to bring your blessings. The good feelings. Say it with me, guys. The good feelings are going to bring me the blessings. The good feelings. Good, great, happy feelings is going to bring you the blessings. Man, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I'm just happy, man. I'm just, whew, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I hope you extracted something from this video. Thank you so much. Hit the like and share button if you fulfilled anything. If you feel good right now, hit the like button. If you feel good right now, hit the share button. If you feel even amazing right now, go to WesleyVirgin.com. Take the Millionaire in Training Challenge. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help extract some of that neg negative thoughts, those negative beliefs out of your brain, out of your head, so you can understand that your life doesn't need to be what it is today. That the world, the universe, God has a bigger purpose for you, for your life. But until you understand that those feelings, those good feelings you need to create on purpose, you need to be able to look at every situation in your life and you be able to reframe that thing to make it work for you. So it can build you up. So it can instill that 
prosperity, that love, that joy, that gratitude. So all the great things, materialistic things, happiness, trips around the world, treating your family how they need to be treated. So you can attract all those things that you need. Hey, much love. I love you guys so much. This is Wesley, Million Dollar Version. Later.